Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we're going to combine these slabs together that we rolled out last class period into our closed box. So as you can see from my design, I have three rectangles I'll be using for the sides and then two triangles I use for the top and bottom. You can choose whatever shapes work best for your box. Um, also notice that my clay is definitely leather hard at this point. It's holding its shape. It's not falling over. I can lift it up. It holds its shape really nicely. It's still definitely cool to the touch. I can still make marks and carve into it if I want to with my fingers or a tool, but I can smooth it out really easily. But if I hold it up sideways, it'll hold its shape, which is what we want when we're combining our pieces together. So to start out, I'm gonna start with one of my triangle shapes. I'm going to score the edges. Add some slip. Remember, if at any point this quarter you start running out of slip, take it upon yourself to make some more on your own. Just add water and clay, mix it together. And then I'm gonna score the bottom edge of one of my sides. And the second one so they can stand up together and help support each other. I'll add a little bit of slip to those. little bit of slip to that edge. Then I'm going to stand these up side by side. And if your clay is pretty sturdy, it should be able to hold its shape pretty well. You'll notice at the edge here, there's a little opening. This is where I'm going to be putting in a coil. So I'm going to score along that edge. join this joint together. Take a little bit of clay, roll out a coil like this. Score along the edge of that coil and then slip as always. My clay is pretty wet so I don't need too much slip slip along here. Put those coils together. And then I'm going to pull half of my coil in one direction onto the slab. And then pull the other half into the other direction. So you can see I have a nice joint along here. One of my favorite tools for smoothing out edges like this is your rib. Let's see if I can find my rib. Here it is. Using your um, wooden rib, again, holding that edge works really nicely for smoothing that out. Same on the other side. You'll also want to look at the seam right along here. Do a little bit of smoothing there as well. If you need to add a small coil there, you could do that. Sometimes I'll take a small coil, especially when your clay is pretty wet. You can get away with not smoothing and scoring or slipping and scoring it if your clay is pretty wet, which mine is. It's not, not too dry. I'll just add a little bit of clay there to just reinforce that joint. Do the same thing on the other side. You can see there's a little overlap here. So I'll pull that clay up onto the edge or onto the slab.
you may want to think about smoothing out this inside joint. You don't really need to do much of that. You could use like the edge of your rib and go in there and smooth that out a little bit, but you really don't need to because you've smoothed it so well on the outside. I'm noticing this slab has a little bit of overlap here. So I'm going to use my needle tool and just cut that extra bit off right now. And then I also have my last slab and I'm going to notice that I want to put this slab on to that ledge. If I attach it right now, it's not going to quite fit. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this slab off as well so it'll fit into that spot. There we go, that should fit a little bit better. cut just a tiny bit more off. I'll slip and score the bottom of this slab. Nice and slip. And put these together. Now this time I'll put two coils on here, again a coil here and a coil there. Take a little bit of clay. couple coils here that I'm going to use. Slip and score along this edge. Same over here. Remember when you're scoring the clay, don't be afraid to really scratch deep into the surface. You're always going to smooth it out again. So you don't have to worry about wrecking anything. Nice some slip. Running out of slip over here. Let me go grab a little bit more. along these two edges, put my coil right on there, my second coil right along here, and then again I'm going to pull half of my coil to the right onto that slab, and then half of my coil to the left. To this slab. Same with this side. Pull half that way and half this way. I'm going to put that back down on my board do some smoothing with the rib now.
can hold your rib and smooth on a short edge here or a long edge here. Sometimes we forget that we can move our rib and use both edges. Do the bottom edge here also. All right, so I'm getting that shape pretty well formed. Again, you can spend some time smoothing all your edges, making it nice and seamless. But when you're done, you should have a triangle box that sits up pretty nice and straight. The last thing we're gonna do is put our top on right here. You may wanna double check and make sure it fits first. Make sure you don't have to cut off any edges of your triangle. Looks like it'll fit pretty well. You can also always try different angles or different directions. Sometimes one way will fit better than another. I think. Mm. I think this might be my best option. Make sure the top is nice and flat if you have any pieces that are sticking up. If it cracks a little on those edges, it's okay because we're gonna put some slip in there and close that up. I'll score all around the outside edge. no clay inside your project so you don't close it up in there. Score the edge of your triangle. Slip all around the outside. that triangle on top and then we're just going to smooth it out again if you feel like you want to add a small coil to one of the joints here if you feel like a small coil there might be a good idea to help you smooth it out that is great you can definitely do that otherwise I tend to pull down a little on some of my edges where they overlap or you can always pull up also right here I might pull up onto the triangle Again, that rib tool works really nicely also to smooth this out. Just be careful as you do this, not to push in too hard on the sides. You don't want your sides to bow in. That's also why you want your clay to be a little bit dry to that leather hard stage. Otherwise, it won't be able to hold its shape very well. So spend some time going around to each edge. And when you are all done, you will have a closed shape that we will continue to do some surface decoration on. Again, spin from side to side, from edge to edge. Double check all your joints. Keep smoothing that out. Remember that it's not going to be perfect and that's okay. We're not machines. It's meant to be handmade, but you do want it to be well constructed so that it, nothing cracks, nothing breaks, nothing falls apart. All right. Thanks guys. And for our next video, we'll do, talk about some carving and decoration techniques.